Welcome to this collective tarot reading. I am answering the call to explore. Sagittarius can be found exploring the city they recently read about in the newest romantic comedy. Feeling the need for adventure and exploration, Sagittarius planned an exciting trip filled with historical tours, museums, and people watching. Aside from escapades, Sagittarius loves to expand their minds and see diversity firsthand. Sagittarius is the call to get out there. Their natural curiosity is reaching out to you, urging you to take the leap and chase after the thrills of life. Now's the time to be spontaneous and let nothing stand in the way. You're brilliant and can figure anything out. Your energy is limitless. You just have to embrace the path of your most aligned, highest self. Sagittarius is all about welcoming the unfamiliar and being open to new ways of living. Be open to seeing and feeling everything in life with a renewed perspective. What are you interested in and how can you learn about it in a unique way? I am open to great periods of transformation. With shades of blue, green, and gold, Labradite is a distinctive crystal that holds a strong connection to channeling your highest self. Caught in just the right light, the crystal's iridescence shines like no other. Labradite is a stone of awakening. It is a call to your higher purpose. You can no longer put off your destiny in this lifetime. A stone of the new moon, Labradite symbolizes a period of new beginnings to come. Use this time to set intentions for where you'd like to see yourself and plan for the journey ahead. Call on your guides if you feel like you have questions unanswered so you can make a decision with all the awareness you need. Now is not the time to rush. It is time to recognize the transformation to come and prepare yourself to welcome it with open arms. How can you prepare yourself for change? I flow with the cycles of life, intertwined within the cycles of life and rebirth. Snake knows a thing or two about removing what no longer serves them. Once snake sheds its skin, it emerges brighter and bolder than before. With this deep connection to the cyclical, cyclical nature of the universe, snake urges you to release what holds you back from being the highest version of yourself. 
you too can remove the layers of ego and expectation to transform into a more authentic version of yourself, a living embodiment of your soul. Knowing where to begin in this process can be difficult, but have faith. Snake will help to guide you through this, and as each layer of the ego peels away, you'll soon see yourself in a new light. Your vibration is rising along with your power to create your reality and manifest your dreams. What patterns do you want to let go of that are standing in the way of your ascension? Meditation is an important part of my spiritual journey. Blends of green, purple, and deep blue make this crystal stand out amongst the rest. When held up to the sunlight, the individual colors stick out even more, and with each turn of the hand, a new pattern can be found. Rainbow fluorite is a potent stone that can help to cleanse the aura and clear out negative energy. Rainbow fluorite encourages you to meditate in the coming days. Making space for the clarity of the patterns in your life to emerge. Even three minutes in the morning can make all the difference before you go on about your day. Give your mind and body the rest it needs and connect with your breath. Let it fill you and rejuvenate you. The breath is our life force, prana, and it carries you throughout life. Taking just a few moments of your time to rest the outer eyes can bring you to a peaceful state and realign your energy. Hold fluorite in your hand or keep it in your space to amplify your cleansing practices. What is the best way for you to incorporate meditation into your practice? The devil represents temptation, overindulgence, and bad habits, which happen to be some of Oogie Boogie's favorite things. If you're caught up in self-indulgence or vice, it's time to rein in it and regain control. Don't gamble with your health and happiness. Remember that instant gratification isn't satisfying in long term, so come up with a lasting plan for success.
three of candles in reverse shows a need for broader thinking don't limit yourself or sell yourself short your potential is infinite think bigger and make a plan for expansion and growth Ace of Needles in reverse. Have you been feeling lost in a fog, dazed, aimless, confused? Consider what you really want and come with a realistic plan to get it. Giving yourself a goal will help you find the motivation and focus you're lacking. Five of Potions. Disappointments and setbacks have you feeling depressed. Something hasn't gone according to plan. Rather than feeling gloom and remorseful about what can't be changed, accept, accept the circumstances and look for a way forward. There are new opportunities waiting for you. Chapter 15, verse 15, The Super Soul. Sarvasya kaham hredi senevistu mata smirtir jnanam apohanam kaveres ka sarveir aham eva vedyo vedanta Krid Veda Vid Era Kaham. I reside in every heart. From me alone come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. I am to be known by all the Vedas. I am the author of the Vedanta, and I alone know the Vedas.
the sage. Chapter 2, verse 69. Yanisa sarva bhutanam chasam jagarti samyami yasyam jagrati bhutani sanisa pasyato much. What is night for all creatures is the time of awakening for the self-controlled and the time of awakening for all beings is night for the introspective sage. Changing Bodies, Chapter 2, Verse 22 Basami Janani Yata Vaihaya Nivani Gritnadi Nero Parani Tata Sirarani Vihaya Jirnani Anayani Samyati Nivani Dehi A person puts on new garments, giving up old ones, the soul similarly accepts new material bodies, giving up the old and used ones. 